Welcome back, y'all. <laughs> E-Rock here. Welcome to CNR Reviews. And today I'm going to unbox this uh, modem that we got. I ordered um, a few days ago. It only took about two days, three days to get here. So the modem we have is uh, is pretty old. And um, instead of getting one from the from our internet company, from our cable company, I just bought a new one, okay? It's one of the higher rated ones. And I'll have all the information up here about the price and uh, I have a link in the description obviously okay so this is a Netgear uh, CM1000 all right it's not the top of you know the it's not the best rated one it's not the top of the line most expensive modem you can get but it's uh, it's pretty affordable I think it was around $140 and I'm going to open it up and show you the contents. And then I'm going to show you how to hook it up in case you guys have never hooked up a modem before. So what you have with your Wi-Fi at your house, what you have is uh, you have a modem. Most people have some kind of cable internet. So a cable comes into the house. It goes into here. This is your modem. It will go into this. And then uh, you have a wire, Ethernet cable, running from uh, this to your Wi-Fi router. So you have your modem and then you have a router. Those are two separate things. This brings your internet signal into your house. When you hook up a Wi-Fi router to a modem, the Wi-Fi router takes that signal, that internet signal, and puts it out as a radio signal for you to use as Wi-Fi, okay? Or you can hardwire stuff. It has ports in it that you can plug like your gaming system in or your PC in or a laptop or something like that, and it gives you uh, high-speed internet, okay? So let's open this up, see what we got. The one we have now is this tiny little thing like this, which is not a problem, it's just, uh, it's, it's older. And, come on. <laughs> All right, yay. If you ever uh, buy electronics like this, they'll always come wrapped in either a blue or red pinkish uh, cellophane that is anti-static plastic. So that's why it's blue, in case you ever wonder when you get electronics, why it's a different color uh, plastic that is wrapped in. All right. Yeah, I like this one. But anyway, we're hoping that this will um, help with the consistency of our strength of signal and uh, so I'm going to show you how to hook it up. It's really simple. This one is your power source. All right. It's where you plug it in down here. Okay. This one is the cable. It's the cable modem. So your coax cable that comes in the house, that's what that hooks up to. All right. You just screw that on. I'm sure you've seen those, you know, obviously. And then this is your Ethernet cable that goes into here. All right, let's go hook this thing up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the existing wires that are already there. So you can see the yellow cable right here coming out of the bottom of this. This is our old modem, okay? So I'm going to unplug that, and I will unplug my router. This is our router, okay? So those are plugged in down here. I'll unplug both of those. There's no power going to them. I'm going to take this off the wall. I'll unplug the power cable back here, okay, Ethernet cable that goes to the router, and then this is my cable coming in from the house. Let me just unscrew your cable, okay, you can see, same thing. Now this one didn't have a color code, but most of them do. Most of them are yellow. All right, now this new one, like I showed you before, it's the back there. And it's got a little on-off button, which is nice. A lot of them don't have that. You just have to unplug it, usually, to reset it. And it has a reset button, which is really cool, too. And then this fitting is sticking way out, which is super nice and helpful. Because a lot of times, you can't fit your fingers on here to screw them on because they're so short. Okay, so that's a really nice feature. Now, this one comes with the mount or a little stand on the bottom. And it just has a tiny little screw. I'm going to take that off because I'm going to mount this flat on the wall there. Okay, next to the other one. So I've got everything hooked up in the back here. Okay, you can see here. 
all the cables hooked up, power cable, and then I'm going to mount this just like this. All right. Okay, that should hold. And now you can see I have everything plugged in, and then I'm going to turn it on, and I'll show you guys the um, the lights are going to be on the back side here, which I can still see because of the angle. And I'll show you how that is. Plug it back in, and then I can mess with these wires later. On I clean up the wires and make them nice. There you go. Now you can see those lights come on. And that's all there is to it. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time.